Alrighty, time for some maintenance on this girl. We are at, what are we at? Yeah, so almost 5,000 K on it. And the brake shoes are shut. So I think it's time we dug into it. So yeah, if we get in here, take a close look, you'll see that those brake pads are shot. There is very little left on them and I can't show you the back very well, but it's even more worn down. You may notice that I have a slightly different brake disc on here. That is the lightweight brake disc from ZRP um, that uh, reduces obviously your rotating weight there. Um, so I believe that's probably why I'm running out of brake pad here um, with only 5,000 K on the sled. Just uh, I think all the extra porting and grooves and holes in that disc to, to make it lighter has created that many more uh, wear edges as it passes through the brakes there. So yeah, at 4,000 K to be needing to do brakes uh, seems a bit early, but I, I believe that just has to do with the fact that uh, this lightweight disc here probably um, wears them down a little bit quicker there. So anyway, Let's get tearing this apart, take the can off, and good to go. So these are what I'm putting them on here. Once I get the old ones out, I'll show you the difference, but yeah, a lot more brake shoe. So yeah, I believe all I gotta do is take that bolt out here and a second one further in there. And that should allow us to take this whole caliper right off of here. And then should just be a cotter pin in here like that, holding the two um, brake pads in there. Should be able to slide those in, hopefully relatively easily probably going to have to compress the caliper a bit to uh make up for the um thicker brake shoes and then uh, should be able to just slide it back on should be pretty straightforward i'm hoping stand by Okay, so it's a little easier to see now, but those are shot. There is just about no pad left on there, especially compared to that. So I think I caught them in the nick of time. Definitely didn't have much life left there. So yeah, now comes the fun part of wedging the the new ones back in here and getting them over the brake rotor here uh, could be interesting might have to compress the cylinders here a little bit but uh we'll get her somehow or other let's go
It did take me a couple tries to get the cylinders compressed enough to fit the new brake shoes in there. I'm sure you noticed I tried the old pliers here. That helped a bit, but in the end, what seemed to work best was just regular old pair of uh, needle nose pliers here, put both pads in and then just wedge this in and work it back and forth to uh, get it wide enough to fit over that disc there. So all in all, pretty happy with it. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but uh, just hanging out in the shop here with limited tools, I'm sure this works. So time to just button the panels back up, throw the can back on, take it for a rip in the yard, check it out. 